In this video, I'm going to show how to calculate the average of a variable that you're showing on a slice in TechPlot. Uh, for this example, I'm using the Wednesday Gas Fire training problem, and I've run it for one second of simulation time so far. Um, first thing to do is I usually start with one of these particle views in the view results um, window from Barracuda. So let's click on one of those. It will bring up the tech plot for Barracuda GUI, and then we can start uh, analyzing our data in here. Um, here, if I go to the very end time here, as you can see, I have uh, five tech plot results files from zero seconds to one second. Um, to get a slice, uh, the easiest way to do that is turn off the scatter layer and then click the slices button. So this will initiate a slice at that location. If we go to details, we can change it to Z planes. Um, for this example, I'm going to use fluid velocity within the fluidized bed. And so I'm going to use this slice um, locator tool. Let's pull this down into the bed and then color the slice by fluid vector magnitude. So instead of the I variable that shows up by default, we'll go to number eight, uh, fluid velocity magnitude. Okay, so that changes our slice to there. And I know for this example, um, the maximum fluid velocity anywhere in the vessel is uh, 17 meters per second, probably at a very small location. Um, but here for what we are wanting to do, let's go more between zero and one meters per second, and let's choose a delta of 0 0.1. And that way we can see what's happening on this slice. So if we play this from time zero out over this one second that we have of simulation results, we can see that it's changing uh, at each time step. And so this is instantaneous fluid velocity. And what we would like to do is calculate a spatial average of what is happening on this plane at each time step and then make a plot of that spatially average velocity versus time. And so the way to do this is you use the extract slices button and we want to slice group one. This is our, our current slice that we're showing. We want all solution times and we want to create a zone for that slice. So we'll get five zones created. Uh, so here, if we click extract, in this case, we only have a few of these output files, so it's pretty quick. If you have more output files or if your simulation results files are larger, then that extraction operation could take longer. Um, okay, so now we've extracted those. If we go to our data, data set info dialog, if we scroll to the bottom, we can see that these are the times that were extracted. And so one thing we'll notice is these are all time strand four. So when, when TechPlot does this operation, it creates a new time strand associated with these slices. And that will become important when we calculate this average. Okay, so I'm going to get out of these dialogs. Next, let's go to the Analyze menu. And here we can perform integration. The type of integration that we want is an average. The variable that we want to average in this case, again, is fluid velocity magnitude. So we say OK there. And we want to integrate over, not zones, or integrate by time strands. And here, if we click the select button, we can see that this time strand number four is the time strand that contains these zones that we extracted from that slice. So we can say OK. And then we can show the tabulated results. And we can also have TechPlot automatically make a plot. Um, so let's do that. And let's click the integrate button. OK, and so here I'll move these out of the way a little bit so we can see both of them. So here's our tabulated um, results. And so at time zero, the velocity is zero everywhere. So this makes sense. Um, and then we can see that the spatial average of fluid velocity um, is settling down to somewhere like 0 0.35, 0 0.4. And this plot was automatically generated that shows that same data versus solution time. Um, so that's how you can use slices and data extraction from the slices in combination with this integrate tool to get a plot like this that shows you the average value on a slice versus solution time. 
That concludes this video.